Hi there, Tim Pope here with another China buzzword from the ICS News Desk. In each video, we aim to explain one topic related to the Chinese business world. And in the last of our videos dedicated to the Shanghai Pilot Free Trade Zone to mark its 10th anniversary, we're going to look at its special comprehensive bonded area. Bonded zones and warehouses have been a pretty common feature of developed economies for hundreds of years, providing a space to store goods without paying import taxes until they're either shipped out to another market or legally imported. The FTZ's special comprehensive bonded area was the first of its kind in China and aims to implement international best practice by reducing red tape. It comprises automated customs data collection and a streamlined import and quarantine declaration system so that goods are subject to fewer time-consuming or unnecessary inspections. It also helps connect more import and export destinations. Shanghai Nangang Vehicle Port has become a crucial shipping hub for cars, for example. At the end of March this year, nearly 2,400 Mazda vehicles from Japan landed in the comprehensive zone and were destined for countries including Chile and Peru. At the time, there were no available direct shipping routes from Japan to these destinations, and sending them via the Shanghai zone and storing them in the bonded warehouse in Yangshan enabled Mazda to cut its logistics costs by 12%. The bonded area covers more than 25 square kilometres and takes in the freight transport hubs of Yangshan Deepwater Port and the Pudong International Airport, Shanghai's biggest airport. In 2021, its daily imports and exports were valued at 2.7 billion yuan, more than 420 million US dollars. As one of the busiest parts of the FTZ, the bonded area has often been one of the first places that reforms get tested. Those have ranged from supervision to financing, investment, and of course, trade. If you've got a China buzzword you'd like us to explain for you, please let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time.